water is very wet today. I wow. Thank you, mystery <laughs> boat person. I did some damp water. Turns out they're just a hood. Like Holy a shit! Hood. That's all they are. Like there's nothing in it. It's just, oh my just god! Just... <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. Like I will reveal to you my true self. And then lifts up his sleeves to lower its hood. There's just nothing in there. <gasps> You're invisible. No. I'm just air or something. <laughs> I'm a hood. Uh. Or it could be Navstabluk pretending he's ha he's not like sad like. Napster when he puts on the calling. he puts on the the cloak and he's happy. And they just finally everything means just something. Just tra la 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 la. The water is very wet today. Oh no! What a star. Ah, <laughs> uh, I never did anything in here, but I'm not gonna do anything in here because I can't do anything in here. I don't know what's over there anyway. So it's like it's a hotel. There's like hotel rooms. Oh. And like some of the doors, if I knock on them, they'll be like. Room service, I need a thing, and there's- wait. I can do one of them, though. Can do one of them? Because <laughs> they, like, they want certain things, and, like, if you give them stuff, they'll give you stuff back, and it's pretty cool, so... <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's, it's pretty exciting to me. I just don't remember which door it is. Door number one. Mm, room, service. room service! Got my CT. No. No. Then... Bye. Okay. Side. He is. That's a depressing life. Yeah. I don't have your fucking cinnamon bun. That is such a depressing life. Yeah, you're shuffling. It seems like you could put something underneath the door. Put. You put a hot dog in front of the door. <laughs> a white paw shoots out from under the door. It tries to pull the hot dog into its room. But it keeps pressing down too hard, and the hot dog keeps spinning away. Hmm. It finally <coughs> succeeds. Uh, you hear the grinding of stone. A single hush puppy slides out from under the door. I don't, you got a hush puppy. I don't know what that is. You don't know what hush puppies are? No. Uh. Okay, well, they're like... Oh my god. I want to say they're like potato things, but they're not potato things. They're something else. Things? Hold on. Google. Marshmallow things? They're not marshmallows. They're like... It's either a seafood thing Dough? or it's a potato thing. I'm like Googling it on my phone as I walk. Uh, no, you walk. I'll Google. Okay. Like, I know I've had hush puppies before and I remember not liking them, so I think it was a seafood thing. Uh, cornmeal batter that is deep fried or baked rolled as a small or occasionally other shapes, uh, small ball or other Then what the fuck else was I thinking of? Well, apparently you're talking about your puppies. I might have been talking about like crab cakes or something. This look like hush puppies. <laughs> yeah. Hush puppies are good. Seafood is disgusting seafood, in all forms. I like sushi. I don't like any other form of seafood. Not even fish sticks. I don't like fish sticks. Oh. I'm not a gay fish. Only for undine, to be honest. <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, I uh, love undine. Excuse me. <laughs> I am all about undine. Like all about please, them fish sticks. Please. Energy spears, sorry. Okay, here comes one of the parts where I have to save and turn it fucking off and on again. I'll let you know, though. Oh. Let's let the viewers know that I will be unavailable when the game dies. Listen. Dead! Sans! Oh, there's like some dramatic chimes. It's like church bells. Yeah, sweet. Oh. So you finally made it. Remember his voice? The of course I do. It's Sans. <laughs> like I'm gonna forget the Pappy Roo brothers. <laughs> the Pappy Roo brothers. Look, <laughs> everyone says Sans is the best. Pappy Roo is the best. I love Papyrus so much. The end of your journey is at hand. That's I can't too much emotion. <laughs> <laughs> In a few hours, you will meet the king. I love how moments became hours. Nailed it. <laughs> Together, you will determine the future of this world. I like how he sounds like he's from Boston. I know, that's the whole point. Like underground that's Boston. there. Underground Boston. <laughs> now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. 
It stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain that you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you could bring yourself to hurt others. <sighs> but you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. Ooh, my. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Mm, now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Hmm? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. I'm loving this Boston sounds. I'm like really invested in this. <laughs> so as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. And now, now I gotta turn the game off, so Why stay bye? tuned. <laughs> Alright, so what was the purpose of that? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. I don't want to explain this, because it's hashtag spoilers. <laughs> Tag your spoilers. We'll get there. Signs! Hey, everybody! Hey! It's, I haven't seen you in forever! We need, like, uh, a studio audience to come in and clap every time Sans appears. All right. He'd look at directly at the camera like he normally does with his terrible jokes. and just like, yay! God bless. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the fate of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points, a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, <laughs> is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, okay? A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Are you listening? Are you paying attention? But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained any love, but you gained love. Does that make any sense? Do I have to go over this again? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul into... Okay, but if you kill Ask monsters, what will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown at the towel by now, but you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right, you have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you would do what's in your heart, I believe you could do the right thing. All right, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Wait a second. I look on your face while I was talking. 
You've already heard my spiel, haven't you? I suspected something like this. You're always acting like you know what's ha going to happen. Like you've seen it all before. So, I have a request for you. I kind of have a secret code word that only I know. So I know if someone tells it to me, they'll have to be a time traveler. Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. Is his code word literally whisper, no, whisper? No. It's even better than See that. See you later. All right, now. Here we go again, kids. How long? How many times do I have to do this? Do I have to go through the entire thing it's again? It's not the entire thing. I won't make you read it. Uh, <laughs> I'm still going to read it. I mean, I'm going to go really fast, so. I know. <laughs> We're going to find a way to read it. Nature will find a way. So you finally made it. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? What is it, girl? What is it? Tammy's trapped in a well! God damn it! <laughs> My name isn't Rye, it's been Lassie all along. <laughs> Plot twist of the century. God! Risk is actually an upright dog. Bork, bork. Bork, bork. Dogs petting other dogs? It makes sense now! Oh my god, they knew! Wait, did you read this? You what? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Maybe? Oh. Did you just say, I'm a stupid doo doo butt? Wow, I can't believe you would say that. <laughs> Not only is that completely infantile, but it's also my secret code word. That, however, isn't good enough. What you need is the secret, secret code word. It's only for people that know the secret code word. Anyway, here it is. Whis wimpser, wimpser. <laughs> I like how his pupils are gone. Yeah, isn't that a serious face? Yeah. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. <sighs> See you later, this is the alligator. Last time I have to do that with him. All right, smell you later, Gary Oak. Gary Oak, God, what a fucking ass bowl. <laughs> Same. I'm pretty sure he's been standing there the entire time. Yeah. Just while you close the game, come back. Like, I can't believe she actually bought that. <laughs> so you finally made it. Hmm? Do you have something to say to me? You got something to say to me, huh? Pop mm -hmm. cap in your ass? What? A code word? Can you speak up a little louder? Hmm? Parlez-vous les français? Did you just say I'm the legendary fart master? What a fucking child. Wow. That's, uh, really childish? Why would you think that was a secret secret code word? Whoever told you that is a dirty liar. I don't have a secret secret code word. However, I do have a secret secret triple secret code word, which you just said. So I guess you qualified. Here's the key to my room. It's time you learn the truth. When you look, the key was already on your keychain. He's quick. I... It's been there the entire time. That would have been fucking hilarious. Your phone was actually the key. Oh my god, I just put my phone up to the thing. It's super fu futuristic and shit. Oh, god, I'm not walking down that hall. I love myself. Do, 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 do. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, bye, Pappy. I gotta. I How do you think Undyne's coping with the cold weather? She's not. Hold on, we'll we'll talk to her in a minute. She's not coping with it. Snowed in home of papyrus. That's the slogan, right? God bless. Oh, hello. That's not my house. That's just my cool tool shed. Do you call it your cool shed? Oh my god. No! I've never thought of that! That's why we're friends, Undyne! You enrich my life with shed-based puns. That's the only one I've ever made, dude. <laughs> okay, Skype is like, chopping the hell up. Oh. I see maybe every other frame of five. Oh. 
Are you are you, are you talking to Undyne right now? Because no. you're just like facing her. For Am me. I walking now? You're teleporting. Oh well, that's fine. Hey, punk, what's up? Achoo! Yeah, papyrus. How can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in grill bees instead? Because I hate grease! But you don't have a stomach! No, but I have standards! Hey, Papyrus. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards! <laughs> you unlock the door and enter. Oh, There's just that's... like ambient wind sounds. How was the room on fire but completely dark? Trust me. How big is this room? I walk. Are we just running here. into a wall? I bet we're just running into a wall. Oh, it's even the better entire than that. time. It's even better than that. <laughs> Only one I have ever known. Don't know where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sans, have you seen my... Oh, hello, you aren't Sans. Wait a second. How are you standing on that without... <laughs> I'm magic, trust me. Why were you using a treadmill in the dark? Is Sans pranking you across time and space? Again. I hate it when he does that! Again. How immature can you get? Now, so, have you seen my action figures? They may be in the trash tornado. No. I know where to look. In my collection! <laughs> Sometimes I'm a genius. All the time. I love Papyrus so much. It stands a dirty sock pile. Sc scandalous? <laughs> His lone sock. Is there trash tornado? It appears to be a self-sustaining tornado made of trash. That's like my room. Sansa's room is like my room. Inside the drawer is a silver key. You put it on your keychain. Dude, that keychain that we didn't know we had is getting a lot of sudden use. Oh yeah. It's a thank you letter. It's addressed to Sienna. Sienna. But what does Sans ask for, for Christmas? He just said thank you for getting papyrus cool stuff. Oh. It's an uncovered pillow, same. That's it's a worn mattress, and there are sheets bunched up into a weird creasy ball. That's oh. exactly like my bed right now, because my sheet is coming off. That is not a cabbage. That's not a cabbage. It does look like a cabbage, though. What does the note on the treadmill say? Oh. It's a treadmill. There's a message attached. <laughs> the truth is, you got own, nerd. Oh, Sans. Oh, and it's on fire Sans. again. And it's on fire again. Listen, his room is an enigma. His room... I think frequently has Undyne. Just visit. <laughs> you visited the trash can. I'm glad we did that. Well, Papyrus said we could come visit anytime. So we visited his trash can. Yeah. You unlock the door and enter. Oh, suddenly plot twist. Yeah, it is a plot twist. Blueprints. You can't read the symbols it's written in. But it's written in windings. It's Windings? You know that one font that where everything's... Yeah, I know windings. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just the handwriting. Looks like they relate to some kind of strange machine. There's a strange machine behind the curtain. It seems to be broken, but we're not going to move the sheet, because fuck that. There's a photo album in the drawer. There are photos of the songs with a lot of people you don't recognize. He looks happy. He always looks happy. He's a skeleton. Look in the drawer. There's some kind of badge. He was a sheriff. He was officer. Officer Sans. And we're back here. Office Sans. We went through the back door and suddenly, poof, we're over here. Oh, look, I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up on the balcony. Honestly, like... <laughs> Wait a minute. How is there a... Maybe go upstairs and just keep going to the right? That's not... A... There's no way. That's not even a thing. The balcony is a filthy lie. There is no balcony! This house is bullshit. This house is bullshit. It's Sansa's house. No wonder it's bullshit. Uh, it's Pappy Roo's house too? Well, Sans pays all the bills. What bills? 
He pays the electric bills. I don't fucking know. The electric bills? The electric bills. That's why his mailbox is fucking full. Oh, hey! You're leaving soon, right? Don't come here to say goodbye! Goodbyes aren't allowed in my town. Just see you later. That makes me really emotional. <laughs> I don't know why. Where? No, I don't want to go in there. I want to go back to Hotlands. If I want to go back, I mean, I want to die, but we got to go back anyway. Yeah, I get it. Like, goodbyes <laughs> imply it's a parting, but see you later is mean I'm going to see you again. Yeah. Isn't it cute? I love Papyrus. He's so pure. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably just the best description of Papyrus. Yeah, he's just like pure. Pure. I think everyone else has like some sort of like ulterior motive. Papyrus is just like, I'm. I want to be your friend. I want to join the Imperial Guard. Oh damn it! I'm now befriended this human by allowing them to get through my traps by telling them how to get through my traps. <laughs> oh no! I'm going to date this human. Oh no! They know how to make spaghetti. They are meeting all my standards. Oh man, I'm not actually romantically interested in them, but I still want to be their friend. <laughs> I tried really hard to be romantically interested in them. 